there we are. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video by your favorite cousin, Tisa Tierra. So, I am on my way to do something that is bittersweet. I am going to renew my stripper permit for the last time. Like, the last time, like, yo, the last time. It is craziness to think that this is the last time that I'm going to be going to get this permit. And it's so crazy. Well, you know what? Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Backstory. <laughs> just a little backstory. Just like a really quick little one, two, one, two. So if you are new here or you have like only found me like a couple of months ago then you may not know that i am a stripper in atlanta and i have been a stripper on and off for 11 years at this point because my third daughter is about to be 12 in august and i have been dancing since she was a little bitty baby like <laughs> like crawling not even walking probably before crawling I've been dancing so um yeah so I've been doing this on and off for 11 years I will say that and it's definitely been on and off stripping has not been my job for 11 years strong five days a week but it has definitely been on and off. Um, and so, okay, now, now that you're caught up on that part, if you have recently been watching me for the last couple of months, then you also know that me and my boyfriend are preparing to get married next year, this time, okay? Which is resulting in this being my last time getting my permit. And I'm glad that it actually is falling the way it's falling. Because if I'm getting married next summer this time, then it's perfect for me to go ahead and get my permit and be able to utilize my permit for a year. But the goal is to be completely done before my year is up like i don't want to be dependent on the club at all that's the perfect way to say it i don't want to be dependent on the club at all before the year is up so if i can get completely um independent away from the club by like month eight month nine that's the goal and see here's the thing a lot of girls walk out of the club without having like a real solid plan right and so that is the reason why i will be dancing through my engagement because i know and my man knows that there has to be a process there has to be a process like girls think that you know okay i'm gonna quit dancing and then i'm gonna go work at kroger i'm gonna go work at walmart no you're not because you're not used to making kroger and walmart money you know what i'm saying like and i'm just using kroger and walmart as a little you know but when you come out of the entertainment business you're not used to making that how can I say it? I want to say it without... Drive your fucking car! What the fuck are you doing? Girl, let me get the fuck over. Because you stressing me out. And pissing everybody off. Who are you? Oh, nigga. He was a white man, though. But anyway, 
One thing about it, if you're white and you're watching this, we don't just call black people niggas. Everybody is a nigga. If you live and breathing, you a nigga. You could be the dog, and we still gonna call you a nigga. You get what I'm saying? Anyway, that was just like a little, a, a cultural lesson, if you will. Um, but yeah, so you're not used to making Kroger and Walmart money. Like, you make what they make in two weeks, you can make in a day. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so it's hard to transition like that. So it's like you have to set yourself up in a way that you have to set yourself up in a way that does not make you want to go back to the club. You have to put yourself in a position to where if you want to go back to the club, it's because you want to spend money, not because you got to go to work. All right, so we are parking. We put in our little receipt thing in the car. So if you if you are ever getting your license um, for like a club in the cab, then I'm gonna show you like you have to go to the Camp Creek Courthouse because I know like a lot of people be like, where do I go? Where do I go? I'm gonna show you where do you go. This is the one that you go to. This side. You always go to the side that got like the helicopter landing by the jail. That's where you go. Before you come down here to get your license or your permit, make sure, double check, triple check, if you are unsure, and make sure you don't have no warrants because they are gonna lock your ass up while you down here, okay? They are gonna be like, ma'am, excuse me, can you turn around? Put your hands back. <laughs> and just like that, we're done, okay? So, finna go back to the house. Probably make me and my baby some crab cakes. Or me and the kids some crab cakes. Or whatever. The reason I said me and my baby is because the bigger girls probably already ate because they just got dropped off this morning by their dad. So. Hey. Can you help me? Yes. Y'all, I just met the sweetest old man. I don't know if y'all heard him when I was recording, but he was like, can you help me? So he's trying to pay to like park in the in the in the thing but the the card thing is acting stupid it was acting stupid with me the cash part is even stupider and so i told him i was like you can go to that one but this man look like he's in his damn 70s like he don't need to walk all the way across the parking lot so i was like i tell you what i'm getting ready to pull out here's my receipt just park your car where i am so he was like the number is not the same i was like it doesn't have to be it's okay like i'm gonna give you my star number yeah he was a sweet old man he was like really you'll do it i was like yes because it was my idea like yes i don't papa i don't want you to walk there's no need for you to have to walk all the way over there i got you papa so we've done our good deed for the day yay Doing a good deed for people just makes me so happy. I swear, it just makes me so happy. It fills my heart with joy when I'm able to help people in a slightest little bit. And me and he was an old man. Like, it just made it. Because I want somebody to look at. We have to look out for our, our like our older people, y'all. We have to. like Because if we don't do it, who the fuck is going to do it, you know? So. But anyway, I got my permit for the last time. Oh my god. So so I was thinking last week about it and I was like, T, like you're about to be done with this shit. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, like I definitely got emotional just thinking about the fact that like something that I have done for so long is gonna come to an end. And like yeah, I got a year, but y'all let's let's be frank. A year goes by like that a year flies you know so <sighs> new chapter new journey new experiences new grind all right y'all so we have Publix just got some crab cakes if you have not tried Publix crab cakes let me tell you get your life together immediately I don't usually shop in Publix for stuff like this, but they got buy one get one free on a Arm & Hammer laundry detergent. So, yeah.
and that's the like the bigger one or it's not the biggest like that's the biggest but it's the one in the middle because that's the smaller one but i'm gonna go ahead and get two of these all right so we are back home and i'm about to get ready to watch me a motivational thing i didn't watch a motivational thing this morning because ash was in my bed this morning and she was asleep so i didn't want to wake her up but now i'm, I'm about a to sleep with mom so you said I could turn the TV on? Yes. Mm. I'll know next time. But, um, yeah, so I'm about to listen to my motivational. I'm about to make a to-do list of everything that I have to do today. And then I was going to do a video <clears throat> showing you guys, like, how I plan my month out or whatever for next month. Um... So, I might record that. Are y'all... Okay, so let me ask Let me ask y'all. Are y'all interested in seeing that? Like, how do I plan, like, my month as far as, like, business? How many emails do I decide am I going to send out? How many times... How do I decide how many times I'm going to post? Like, stuff like that. If y'all are interested in it, let me know. And then I'll show y'all that for July. <laughs> um... But yeah, right now I just put the water on, so I'm boiling the water, and then I'm just about to start like cleaning up and just getting everything situated for the day. I made some grits and some crab cakes, and I like my crab cakes like these. Like, I like my crab cakes brown. I don't care what y'all talking about. I like my crab cakes brown. Do you want to hear a joke about paper? Sure. Never mind. It's terrible. Yep. Leah, how are you gonna say it and then say you gonna do this to you? How you gonna say that when you got duty once you hear about it? And then you gonna say never mind. It's terrible. That's right, that's the joke. It's terrible. I don't get it. So now none of y'all get the joke. Oh yeah. So. So y'all really don't get it. <laughs> it's terrible. Can't you tear paper? It's terrible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So I am sitting here trying to figure out what the next new arrival is going to be. I do know that the um, gold zodiac necklaces are going to be the next restock, but the next arrival, I want to do some dresses because I have no dresses at all in the dresses category, but I'm having the hardest time finding some because I know that you guys don't want anything that is too form fitting, yet a lot of things are form fitting. And if it is not form fitting, then um, sometimes it has like these ugly patterns or I don't know. Looking for inventory <coughs> <coughs> when you're being very specific can be very easy because you're very, you're very specific and you know exactly what you're looking for or it can be very hard because you're very specific and you know what you're looking for like but what i am about to do is i think i'm gonna pick like four or five and then i'm gonna put them in a community tab and then just like let you guys vote on the style yeah, so it is like 7 54 so i am talking low because like my kids are awesome um like I said, it's still early. I've been up since like five something, so I'm proud of myself because y'all know I have been practicing getting up at five something. And the goal is to do it for 60 straight days so that it becomes a habit. I already like getting up early anyway, but yeah. Um, but right now I'm getting ready to do my agenda. I really should have been doing this. I should have been done doing this by six o'clock, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm about to do my agenda for today, 
which y'all know these my agendas it is gonna be an actual book um it's gonna be dropping i wanted to drop black friday so i'll be getting like really focused on that really really soon um and when i say soon i mean like maybe like august like after i send the kids to school that's when i'm really gonna be focused on getting this agenda out for y'all and i am so excited about that like i'm so 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 excited about that um but i'm scared like i'm not gonna lie i am scared and so because i'm scared i think i only want to get like 50 copies like i'm not gonna get like this ridiculous i'm scared girl i am scared i'm scared and if i do get a big amount it's gonna be because i actually sat down and strategically tried to figure out a way to you know what i'm saying like maybe i do a hundred i'm scared i'm scared i don't know all right, y'all, so I am about to get started on a at-home at -home workout, and I'm going to set y'all up and let y'all work out with me. I got my headphones, because like I said, them kids sleep. It's like, man, it's nine something now. Regardless of the time, I'm not waking up. Not happening. It's 10.30. They still don't sleep. If you a mama... You might feel me. Let them kids sleep as long as they want to sleep. Cause Ashley's up though. Love is on the wrist, and here I am all alone. I'm so cold, I'm so cold. You got me out here. I've been taking on all this baggage, adding on so much weight. Had me thinking that I was average when you really the flag. Completely defeated by the dogs. Especially Cody, who was the ringleader of the demise of my workout. So that's over. Now we are about to take a shower. So we're going to take a shower and then we are going to get started on content. Yay! I'm really excited to do content because I don't get a chance to do content often anymore. So I'm excited. One hour later and I'm about to eat me a bagel because I'm hungry and I'm trying to find good lighting. Okay, there we go. And after I am done eating, I'm about to start recording content. So, all right, y'all. So I've been down here. I've been working i've been getting stuff done and i'm about to call it quits on the content creation right now because i need to go to the grocery store um so <clears throat> i'm gonna go to the store start dinner um and then possibly catch up on doing more content wow all right y'all so we are out the door on the way to wally world we decided on cabbage cornbread fried chicken and rice so. so I slipped out of attitude because I was looking for I think the rice arani brand I'm not sure though but garlic and herb and this the only herb I could find was this herb and butter but I'm like I don't want herb and butter I want garlic and herb but I don't want none of these other ones like I thought about maybe getting this one because we will eat some um quinoa but i don't know 
how to if the girls is girl i thought that i was gonna come home and like get back started on content and stuff like that girl i'm not i'm definitely not i'm definitely about to take a shower and um <laughs> hey ladybug hello um go get the groceries out of the car but yeah i'm about to take me a shower and then i'm about to start um start cooking and then i need to start working on um a boutique checklist so for all of my Inspiring entrepreneurs, I'm going to create a checklist, and this is going to be a free checklist. Um, and so it's just going to be a checklist of everything. Like you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need 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 this. And so from you having the checklist at that point, it's just going to be up to you to figure out, like, how do you get this stuff? You know, I mean, that's the best way I know how to put it. Like it's a checklist. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's exactly what it's supposed to be. So I don't want y'all to be thinking like, okay, I'm finna get this checklist and I'm finna know how to run a whole boutique. No, you're not. Cause you still gonna have to figure out how to, I don't know. Y'all see what I mean. I don't want to say it should be common sense about what I mean because common sense ain't so common. It was common to some, it's not common to others. So, but anyway, child. Okay, never, never. There's never, never a long time. What's that? When you got three dogs and five kids. vlog right here because <clears throat> it is i would say it's sunday no it's not today is thursday and i got other stuff to do and i got another vlog that i gotta start on saturday and so if i don't close this vlog down now <clears throat> if i don't close this vlog down now it's gonna go all the way to saturday and it don't need to go all the way to saturday it's long enough so boom there we go we're going to go ahead and close it down. Thank you so much for watching. As always, because you didn't have to, you could have clicked the one before. I do want to add the bonus so I can click with me. It's going to really appreciate it. And I'll see you in another video.